Good morning, Wolfpack. I'm Daniel Gandy. And I'm Kylie Benjamin. Today is Tuesday, October 11th, and we are here with your daily announcements. If you're if you're checking out your turn, if you're checking out your turn two textbooks, you can also uh, return return from term one. The library needs you to return those overdue textbooks. Just a reminder: the women's volleyball. The women's volleyball team is having their pink out game against Elk Grove, to, so be sure, so be sure to come out and wear pink. This month is National Bullying Prevention Month. It is a time to focus and raise awareness at our school. Here at CO, we do not condone, condone bullying. Tell a teacher, parent, or any other trusted adult if you are experiencing any form of bullying. If you're, if you're interested in taking college courses during the school year. You can have them. You can have them through advanced education program. The advanced the advanced education program offers a community college co uh, classes to high schools. You can take a maximum of two college courses per ter term. More information on advanced education is on the Wolfpack newsletter. Now let's pass. Now let's pass it on over on to Tad and William for wins and fails. That the former richest man in the world is now the 13th, is now 13 billion dollars in debt. Now let's give a double win to Kanye and Trump who were brought back into Twitter thanks to Elon Musk. Kanye was originally banned for making anti-Semitic tweets on the platform. Though sadly Kanye was actually <clears throat> banned after only being back for one day. And don't worry guys, I checked, Trump's password is not MAGA 2024. Now let's give another win to Walmart for releasing the long-awaited Walmart land in the metaverse and Roblox. Not only that, but they just had their first concert, Electric Fest, which featured artists such as Madison Beer, Youngblood, and Kane Brown. The concert took place last weekend. I was actually there listening to it with my Robloxian bros, and it was quite a vibe. <laughs> you know, I hate to do this, but I have to give a fail to Chris Pratt after hearing his voice in the new Mario movie. It's just not really the voice I was <clears throat> growing up with, with Mario. Um, don't get me wrong, I think the movie does look really great. Illumination Studios have done a wonderful job bringing the Mushroom Kingdom to life. I also think a lot of the voice actors are really good, such as Jack Black, Charlie Day, and Anna, Anna Taylor-Joy. But I think even I could do a better Mario impression. It's -a me, Mario. Well, Wolfpack, those are the wins and fails of the week. Back, Back to, to the, the anchors. anchors. Thanks, guys. PSATs are happening tomorrow, October 12th, and all sophomores are required to take the test. Students will take the test on a reverse minimum day in, in, the, in their Advo classes. Attention student drivers, beginning tomorrow, Wednesday, October 12th, campus security will be patrolling the COHS parking lot in search of various parking violations, be sure to park your car in appropriate stall. Student parking stalls are clearly marked with blue or orange painted parking plugs. Okay. okay. That's all. Um, well, that's what we have for all for you to today, Wolfpack. And remember, the strength of the wolf is... And I'm Dan Gandy, and straight for the pack is a wolf. Happy National Sausage Pizza Day, Wolfpack. <laughs>